You ever have those days where you just can't seem to get jack done? You, I, everybody, we experience those days. And then we have the other exact opposite end of the spectrum where we have amazing days. When we look at the end of the day and we're like, that was phenomenal. How did we accomplish so much? We're going to talk about the difference right now and how you can decipher between the two and optimize your time. So check this you, out. You, I, and everyone we know can break their day into two basic components. One is the highly productive proactive portion of the day which we unfortunately don't spend enough time in and the other one is what I like to call the regurgitative waste of time that preoccupies most of our waking hours and that's the reactive portion of our day we're gonna talk about these two different portions of the day and how we can switch from being reactive being proactive really is taking hold of the reins of your life, of your company, and leading it very specifically in a way that benefits you the most. Reactive is everything else that falls in place to operate your company, but doesn't necessarily need to be a priority. Let's talk about some of these reactive things that totally take up all of our time. How about answering unsolicited emails? Do you do that? You're guilty of that. I'm guilty of that. Worst, worst reactive thing text messages. How many times have you gotten a text message that is nothing more than a distraction away from what you really should be doing, something that you really should be accomplishing? Another reactive thing will be taking phone calls from people you don't know. Why would you do that? Why would you waste your time answering somebody else's questions? What you're doing at that point is you are being reactive and helping somebody else be proactive. Unless you very specifically wanted to talk and reach out to that person, you should never waste your time answering a phone call that you don't know what's on the other end or why they're calling. Don't fall into those traps. Can you start to see how we spend a lot of our time in a reactive state? A lot of our time helping other people be proactive when really what we need to do is refocus, commit to helping yourself become the absolute best you can do have people answer your questions put people into reactive states you'll bump your company up and as you're growing you can then bring them along for the ride so don't feel like you're using someone when you're putting them in a reactive state you are actually in lead at that point and you are enabling them to increase their own proactive states but on your terms not on their terms don't ever fall for it on their terms. Make sure that you are always in command. Make sure that you're always in control. And that's going to be the difference. Let's begin by breaking your day down into these two simple components, proactive and reactive. When you get the grasp of that, you can begin to understand how much time you spend in each state. You can then focus your attention on optimizing your time in the state that you need to be in that's going to make a difference for your life. I hope this helps. Have a good one.